Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben and today we will talk about those weird people who likes to eat sh**, and they are also capable to say it's chocolate. Like, share, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date, come find me on my Facebook page Advanced VR Fair and buy your favorite games using the link in the description to go into instant gaming website, so in this way you will also support the channel. Thank you. Everywhere, in every place, people are talking about the upcoming update for the Quest 2, which will bring the screen at 120 Hz refresh rate. And I already can hear, okay, so now games will be at 120 FPS. Now games will be smoother. Or the worst thing is, now graphics will be better. If you have thought at least one of these things, you're a moron. And uh, if you thought all of them, congratulations, because you are three times moron. But please don't be offended. You're maybe just a victim of those web bullish that goes around from people who don't know a dish about what they're talking. Okay, let me explain better. Let's pretend for a second that right now Quest 2 is at 120Hz refresh rate. First of all, what it means? It means that the screen of the Quest 2 flashes 120 times in one second. Now, in this case, I can understand the enthusiasm from a user who used the Quest 2 as a PC VR. Very, very bad choice and I'm so sorry for that. Really which having a PC strong enough can push a game up to 120 FPS and it means that the graphic card is so powerful that can create 120 photograms each second. And uh, if you don't have any idea on what is the difference between Earth and FPS, please do not comment. Only in this case I was saying I can understand the newbie enthusiast for this update and even in this case the newbie is ignoring a big factor that could prevent him in any case to see a real 120 Hz refresh rate and it's the XR2. Now what the f*** you say, why you're talking about the XR2 if you are talking about using the Quest 2 as a PC VR? Uh, right, the Quest 2 chipset, the Snapdragon XR2, do just a little thing while it's connected to a PC. And it's the encoding of the video signal that comes from the graphic card traveling inside the USB cable instead of a video cable. But is the XR2 capable to encode a video signal at 120 FPS? And if it's so, is it capable to do it without any loss of quality? more than we have right now. What? How? Why there will be loss of quality? And uh, you really think the XR2 is really capable to encode a 4K video at 120 FPS without drastically dropping the bitrate or even lower the resolution? I bet most of you are not even following what I'm saying because you don't know nothing about this argument but I can hear you pushing those keys right now to write your comments and spit your Please don't do it. I will not even waste my time to reply you because now you are becoming so much so I have to select the comments to reply. But I promise if you write in the comment the biggest I ever heard in my life, I will reply with a big laughing to tears emoji. Now let's go to the funniest part of this video. I said I will understand the enthusiasm for a user that used Quest 2 to use as PC VR. But now I ask you who use the Quest 2 as a standalone, why the f how are you enthusiast about the 120 Hz update? There are very few games that support the 90 Hz and these games has a poor graphic, for example Beat Saber. So what the f are you expecting from a game that can support 120 Hz? Do you have in mind something called, how was it, uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X? Ever heard? 
And do you know the power of the GPUs of those consoles? And do you know the games on those consoles run at 60 FPS and can reach 120 FPS interpolated using a specific feature available only on certain games? And so far there are no games that support this feature. And in any case, lowering the graphic. And do you really think a mobile chipset can run a 4K games at 120 FPS? Come on, ah, open your mouth. Oh, how good is this fish? Um, yum, 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 yum. Now, what I said so far is all technical information about Earths and FPS. Not a my idea, it's not my two cents. And now, if you want to hear my two cents, here it is. If you ask me, I don't feel the need of a 120 Earths refresh rate on Quest 2. The headset is perfect like that, overall if we talk about standalone. There's nothing to add, there's nothing to change about some little imperfections, but it's okay. The only change I would do is hardware, not software. And it's a video interface that can connect the Quest 2 directly to the graphic card. And this will make a real PC VR and not a surrogate. So in this way, who want to use the Quest 2 as PC VR can exploit completely the almost 4K screen and the eventually 120 Hz display. But it's clear that in this case you must have a PC so powerful to push a 4K at 120 FPS and if you have it means you are really rich and I don't think if you're rich you buy the Quest 2 which is the headset of the poor. And then as a standalone the 120 Hz update it's a nonsense, it's useless. Because the XR2 will never be capable to encode or handle a 4K graphic at 120 FPS. So if the XR2 cannot push a game at 120 FPS, What's the point of having a screen at 120Hz refresh rate? Well, unless you want to play Tetris on your Quest 2 at 120fps. Oh, how is good Tetris at 120fps? Yum! So, guys, go wild with the insults down in the comments and show me you don't know of enough about the argument. And anyway, you already know there is no room in this channel for cheap bully because I will immediately block you and the late or your issue. If you want to comment, do it quietly down in the comments. Even if you're not agree with what I'm saying, just do it quietly. Otherwise, shh, shut the fuck up. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date. From Ben itself, see you to the next one and see ya in VR. Shout out, guys.